All right, guys, this is AI7HE. Today we're going to be talking about um, the basic overview and overall functions of the uh, Yaesu FT60. Um, this is a common radio for new hams getting into the hobby to buy. Very simple, very easy to use. It doesn't take a lot of time to learn how to use it. So I'm going to go over the basic um, buttons and uh, functions that will get you started. So, um, as you can see, it's very rugged construction, a lot of buttons. Um, there's a DTMF keypad with some other functions too. Um, a couple of knobs up here, we'll uh, go into those in a second. But let's turn the radio on, and this is how you turn it on. You flip the switch. You can see the voltage when it pops up. Um, the power switch and the volume are integrated into one, so when you press this, turn it around clockwise, you increase the volume, just to keep that in mind. And all this stuff is in the manual, so you can look into that too if you need more information, but this is just a basic overview. Um, right now I'm in my memory mode, um, hopefully you can see this, but uh, we're going to do some basic functions here. So we are in memory mode right now. I'm going to switch to VFO mode by pressing this V slash M button, common on most YSU radios. So now we're in VFO mode and um, you can uh, select different bands um, to receive. We're on the uh, UHF ham band here. You can just press the button band. Doing that so you can hear the volume. This has a wide band receiver, so you can listen um, in the AM aircraft band. Um, I think it's like 108 megahertz to 137 megahertz, something like that. So yeah, this is the AM aircraft band. I'm gonna go to a airport frequency but yeah um, you can listen to AM aircraft band um, what's funny about this is um, the band selector um, on newer Yaesu radios um, the AM aircraft band will be separate from the 2 meter band but this one for some reason it's um, um, integrated together so um, when you, uh, let's see, input, let's input 14652 for hand frequency. So when you scroll through the band, it shows up the two meter band. It's, it's, it's not a big deal, but you can, um, you know, just type in whatever frequency through the keypad here, um, either AM or two meter. Um, and if this is true, you can go up to 174 megahertz. So in reality, I think it's 108 to 174 megahertz. I'll have to look in the manual, but it's something close to that um, for each band selector. You can listen to um, uh, 200 through, uh, I believe it's 400 megahertz. So this is that band and they're split into two. Um, the UHF band hand band and then let's turn this down um, this will also go between 700 and 900 megahertz um, with US cellu cellular blocked so there's a lot of um, some there's some public safety up, up, up here um, they're probably digital or encrypted but some of them still use um, analog there's some other services up here so just to kind of uh, go over that it's uh, something you might want to get into um, if you do the research to uh, find all that um, what's in those bands like the government services and stuff so that's kind of the band overview I guess the, the wide band receiver so let's go back so um, like I said, in order to get out of the of, of the memory, you press the VM button right here. Um, and to get back there, 
you press it again so it's recalling your your memory channels um, this knob right here um, as with the VFO you can select different frequencies or memories and let me go back to VFO to show you that scroll up or down So that's the function of that. Um, and then this um, little knob right here, just underneath, is the squelch control. So when I go to the left, the squelch will become noisy. And then to close it, you um, put it this way. I always like to keep it in the middle, not touch it, because uh, I don't want to hear this noise all the time. I want to have a pretty good receive but not scroll all the way over here and then I hear um, I can't hear any weak stations that well. So there's that and now we're gonna go let's see um, let's go into the set menu. So in order to recall that you uh, press this function button, it's FW button where D is. Press that and you press the set button, which is zero right here. And then now you're in the set mode menu. And either way to do this, you could scroll with this knob, all the functions in here, or you can do up and down arrows. And I should go back for this. You can also scroll through memories and VFO frequencies with these up and down arrows on the keypad. So you can do like that, however you choose doesn't really matter, still works the same way. And to get out of it, you uh, just press the PTT to get out of it once. You're back where you were. And let me just show you this with the up and down arrows. You could still do that. So there's a lot of functions that kind of work over each other um, that do the kind of the exact same thing. So that's how you do the set menu. Let me go back one more time. All of those menus you uh, need for different settings on the radio are here. So it's kind of cool. And what else? Um, let's see, let's, um, let's do this. Let's see, um, like, for example, let's go to different power settings. So you can do that. Um, press function, and then a TXPO, transmit power. And then this is where you select low, medium, and high power, which is a uh, half a watt, two watts, and five watts um, for each level, each level setting. And then in order to select it, you either do up and down arrows or the knob right here. I have this set already. I want it on high, so I'm not gonna mess with it or else I'll probably forget. Um, and then to get, get out of it, press the PTT. That's kind of how to get out of it. Pretty much anything is just to press the PTT if you're in a, in a setting, um, just to back out. Um, and uh, we're probably going to do a video on how to set up, set up a memory in this, but uh, I'm just going to go through the settings that you need to access a, a, a repeater. So pretty much anything has to require a function. Press, press that, press the squelch type for the tone. There's all these different types of tones you can, you can, you can select. There's DCS, reverse tone, tone squelch, but uh, you want it on tone. Um, so we're gonna press function to save. Um, and then that accesses the actual um, tone frequency. So you would press that once it's enabled function code, then that's the code um, or tone that you need for whatever repeater or um, node or simplex you know, echo link node or whatever, um, there. So have that set and, uh, let's see anything else. The reverse, um, this is default. You can change this to home in the menus. Um, but home slash reverse button it's set on reverse. You can select reverse, go to the input of a repeater and then back out. So you have a, see if the, Station you're talking to is um, in simplex range, which is always pretty neat. And uh, let's see. Um, 
get some traffic there. On the side, you can, um, let me zoom in. Hopefully you can see that. This top one is for um, an, a uh, mic extension. Let me turn this off, actually. Uh, turn the volume down. So on the back, or I guess this, I guess the side, let me try to focus it again there. You can um, insert a mic, um, a hand mic through this pin. Let me open it actually. That's where you would put it. Um, you know, if you want to put this in your vehicle, you can have a, a microphone come out of here and uh, um, just be easier with you know hands free. You don't have to go up like this and talk all the time while you're while you're in the vehicle. Um, and this one right here is for an external DC power input. So you can uh, hook this up to a battery or um, a power supply and run it. Um, basically, run your radio all the all the time, like you know, like your mobile radio. Um, if you put it in your shack, you can uh, put it. Uh, um, I guess hook it up there and power all all the, all the time. It could be used um, portable, um, but you have to get the right extension cable, which they do sell for this radio and other radios um, for that to happen. So kind of neat, kind of cool features. And then um, don't know what this button does. I should know it, but uh, this button is a uh, monitor. Let's get out of this. I'm going to. So you can hear this. So that's the monitor button. Turn it off. So you can use that instead of squelch, um, switching it clockwise or counterclockwise to increase or decrease the squelch. So yeah, those are the kind of the basic functions. I know that was kind of rambling on um, a couple of these um, settings and terms, but uh, um, that's basically how to get started um, using this radio. Just just an overview, basic functions. Not that hard to um, get started using this. Very simple, very easy. Like I said, it's a common radio people use and buy when they're first getting into the hobby. So um, thanks for watching. I hope this found value in um, you know your search for a new radio if you're planning on buying this. Um, hope this helps.